right. <coughs> Coach, we will open uh, with an opening statement for you, and then we'll take questions for anyone that's up here on the dais. So, Coach? Yeah, incredibly proud of my team. I thought uh, they, they've been great for us all year. And, uh, you know, today was no different. Obviously, we didn't defend the way we needed to to give ourselves a great chance to win. But uh, on the glass and uh, offensively, I thought we did a pretty good job most of the game. And uh, proud of the way we responded going down 10 in the second half. Uh, right, we're down 13 with 5.23 to go. And uh, like all year, this group stayed the course, stayed together, kept fighting, found a way to tie that thing up late. And uh, you know, one possession away from getting that thing to overtime. And um, disappointed because this group uh, had the ability to, to make a little bit of a run. We got a tough draw getting Colorado in this game. You know, they're 21st overall in Kempom. No other 10 seeds above 33rd. And uh, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. But uh, they're a very good team. Um, you know, I, I expect them to play Marquette very well on Sunday. Please raise your hand and name your affiliation. And Right here in front? Yep. Ty, when you guys rallied there at the end, what was the message to your guys, and what do you feel like they did to tie it up? Obviously, we just got a little more aggressive defensively. We probably, I probably should have uh, got us in that a little earlier. But, um, you know, with that being said, I just, again, thought they kept their composure really well. And, uh, you know, even though we were down a little bit and we were struggling, our guys weren't hanging their heads. They were staying positive and staying together. And uh, obviously, we pressured them. They were throwing the ball around a little bit. We hit some big shots, did a good job attacking the rim. Um, and then obviously, Walt hit a huge three to tie that thing up. But again, same story as all year. You know, our team's been pretty resilient. And uh, you know, for us to cut that thing and tie it, being down 13, I'm really proud of the way we responded. Over here. Yeah, uh, Todd, Ben Baby with ESPN. Just walk us through what you saw on that final possession and how that unfolded for Colorado. Uh, you know, I saw them throw it into Simpson, and uh, you know, I thought ZP did an incredible job staying down and staying between him and the basket. And uh, you know, Simpson somehow got about five feet of separation uh, off ZP and uh, made a really tough, skilled shot from the baseline. But again, I thought ZP did his job, stayed in legal guarding position, stayed between the ball and the basket. And uh, you know, again, somehow Simpson just created about seven feet of separation to get that shot off. Well, that that being said, are you surprised at kind of how that that unfolded, given how many fouls were called in the second half combined? Not at all. Why is that? I uh, I just wasn't surprised that that wasn't called. Right here. For the players, uh, for Zion and and Tyrese especially, can you sum up what this what this game kind of means? It kind of sum up this run you guys made and just being being Gators, you know? Zion? Yeah, it was special. Uh, you know, I appreciate this coaching staff and these players for, uh, you know, embracing me. Um, season didn't go, uh, finish the way, you know, we anticipated. But, um, you know, I can't be more thankful to, you know, put this jersey on. Um, and, you know, definitely something we'll, we'll learn from um, and, you know, get better from. Tyrese? Uh, yeah, same here. So I just can't, like, can't thank the coaches enough for bringing this group together. We had a run. We had a great run. Obviously, a lot of people didn't want us here in March Madness. They didn't think we thought we were going to finish ninth in the SEC, and we finished, what, sixth or whatever the case was. But obviously, it's not the finish we wanted. But I think we we put on for Florida, and we put Florida back on the map. And this is the foundation that's set, and the standards are only going to get better from here. Right here. Shepard with WFT News. Losses like this can be kind of tough, especially when you come back from a deficit and you close it and you kind of feel the glory coming to you. But how do you keep your heads up and still praise yourselves and all the accomplishments that you've had this season? This is a question for the players. Question. For the yeah, Will. Um, yeah, it's definitely um, a tough loss for us, but uh, nobody thought we'd get it, uh, get to this point. So I mean, we're we're still proud of each other, proud of this group. Um, and just you know, just keep our head up, um, improve from it and stuff like that. But definitely still uh, look at the brighter side. Uh, nobody expected us to get here and uh, proud of this group. And we did make it this far. So it's something to definitely hang your head up high on. Tyrese, you want to take it? Uh, yeah, just to pick it back on what he said, like, obviously it's not the finish that we wanted. But we've been through so much this year. You can only smile at the end of it. You know, obviously it's not the result we wanted. We lost off a game winner. But that doesn't matter at the end of the day. Like, we had sometimes we were at a winning uh, team so it happens sometimes but you know basketball is it's bound to happen you know what I mean so I don't know, I'm just happy with what our team did this year can't really complain uh, you know they'll be back next year and they'll be a lot better so I'm just excited to see what 
yet to come for obviously the seniors and the players for next year as well. Right here. Todd, you're not a coach that gets a lot of teed up much. Uh, what happened on, on that sequence and with the whistle and how frustrating was that? Yeah, uh, just a confusing situation. Um, you know, a very delayed and one call. Uh, and then, you know, explain that he tried to blow his whistle, but his whistle wasn't working. But nobody saw him call foul until about five seconds after the play. Uh, I, I wasn't very happy about it. I thought it was a really just, uh, it just never happened to me in my coaching career uh, where somebody's whistle doesn't work. And then, you know, five seconds later, we're finding out that it's an one. Uh, and then he asked me to get in the box, and I said I was in the box, and then he gave me technical. So um, he's, I've had three technicals in my coaching career. He's, he has given me two of them. So follow up. A career high 33 points from Walter tonight. Just what do you think about his performance, and, and how much can he you know, be something to build on next year if he decides to come back? Yeah, no, he's, Walt, you know, is a fantastic player. Uh, got a lot of heart, got a lot of belief. Uh, along with these three up here, you know, he was, uh, he's, he believed the whole time that we can get back in the game. Did a great job attacking the rim late. Obviously, hit that big three uh, to tie it up. And, uh, you know, I, he's, he's a stud, man. He's a gator. And uh, we're fortunate to have him. Right here. Uh, Bennett Solomon with the Alligator. Um, Obviously, with everything that's happened with this team, is this the closest team? Uh, this is a question for all of you. Is this the closest team you've been a part of? Or, and you know, how close, really, is this team? Zion, we'll start with you. Uh, i definitely say uh, it's probably the closest team I've been on. Um, you know, from the stuff, you know, on the court to, you know, off the court, guys just want to be around each other. Um, you know, something that stands out. And, uh, you know, I can't thank these guys enough, uh, you know, for just, like I said earlier, just embracing me. Um, you know, got a bunch of great guys on this team. And, um, yeah, I'd say we're pretty connected. Coach? Yeah, th this team is fantastic that way. I feel like uh, our, our team talent is really good. Um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be around a lot of teams that get along well. You know, I thought my last team in San Francisco was great that way. We had great camaraderie, great togetherness. And uh, this team has reminded me a lot of that group in the way. Uh, they're together, you know, um, they don't have to force it. They don't have to manufacture it. These guys enjoy being around each other. Uh, and it's part of why we've been so successful this year. And so we'll continue to, uh, my hope is that it'll continue to be that way as this, as this group grows and as our program grows. But these guys have laid a great foundation for us that way, for sure. Time for a few more, we're going right here. Um, congratulations on making it this far and playing in a really tough game today. Um, my name is Jayla Johnson with IEPUI Sports Capital Journalism. Um, Alex. Condon, he did not play like a freshman tonight. Can you just explain um, your feelings towards his performance tonight, especially up against a big matchup with Eddie? Yeah, he, you know what? He's uh, He's been huge for us all year. Uh, he's come off the bench, but he, along with Tommy, uh, you know, have been right there with Reese and, and Micah as super important players for us, especially in the front court. And, you know, obviously kind of thrust into a tough situation getting his first start in an NCAA tournament game. But, you know, we knew, and I think these guys, would agree that, that he'd be ready to compete and ready to fight. Um, it's one of his best qualities as a player. And, uh, you know, he fouled out, but six points, seven rebounds, six assists, only one turnover. I thought he did a good job uh, out there battling a super old, you know, fifth year senior in Lampkin who's a really good player. Right here. Darren Stoltz with Western News Orlando. Todd, just watching this team battle back like they have in times past, how much did you just think, oh, we, we got this? And then, Walking off the floor, how much of a building block can this still be as you move forward? Yeah, I mean, along with these guys, I always believed we had a chance. You know, it wasn't looking great for a while. Uh, but once we pressured them a little bit, they started throwing it around. I felt like if we could make some shots, that we'd give ourselves a chance. And uh, again, we, we did what we needed to do, obviously, to tie the game. And I thought we had a pretty good defense possession on the last possession. And it just didn't go our way. So uh, I'm really proud of where this program is right now. The the way this team's played all year. Uh, you know, 24 wins in our league is really hard to do. And, uh, you know, we obviously had 14 league wins if you combine the regular season in the SEC tournament. And that's something to be super proud of. And, and like Tyree said, my hope is that this will be a building block for the program. You know, um, we're going to miss ZP and Tyrese a lot. They're going to be hard to replace. Um, but, 
you know, the goal is that these younger guys will continue to grow and get better, and we'll find guys that uh, are the right fit with great attitudes and great work ethics and really want to be Gators. And uh, we'll continue to build it that way uh, because that's what I believe in, and it's worked for us. So uh, a good building block season for us, and our hope is to continue to raise the bar as we move forward. Time for a couple more right in the back. Uh, for Zion, Zion, do you think you, you got a little bit of a shoulder on that last play into maybe one of the other players? Was it kind of difficult to get a feel of the game, the way the game was being called, especially when whistles aren't working? Uh, I mean, just trying to, you know, keep playing the game, uh, you know, and let the, the fouls kind of come. But, uh, I mean, just, just some tough plays, uh, you know, down the stretch and, you know, getting started and stuff like that. But, um I don't know what happens, basketball. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Last question, please. Question for the players. Being here is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You have a lot of young basketball stars looking up to you, even in moments of losing and not coming out with the win. Do you have any advice for them and just anything you've learned in these moments? Tyrese, start with you. Uh, yeah, just, just got to accept it sometimes, you know what I mean? Uh, Sometimes it's not always not going to go your way. And there's always going to be a lot of basketball to be played. Like we have a lot of freshmen and sophomores. And if they all decide to stay together, they're going to be great in the long run. And it's just going to help Florida basketball grow. Um, like from Condo Ha, even Walt, Will, all of them, like this team is going to be great next year as long as they just add the right pieces. I think they could make a, a bigger run than we did this year. So I'm excited to see that. Will? Um. Yeah, I agree with what Tari said. Um, just don't take any game for granted. I mean, it's a blessing being able to play a game that you love and a game that you dreamed of playing, especially at this level. So um, just have fun with it. Um, just take take every game, every every workout, just everything, um, and cherish it because uh, the basketball doesn't uh, lie. It doesn't dribble uh, for a long time. So just enjoy it while you can. Zion? Yeah, I mean, kind of kind of what you said, just cherishing it all. Um, you know, you're not promised, you know, um, you know, to keep playing and stuff like that. So I think just cherishing every single day, just keep showing up, um, just keep working, uh, you know, because it all comes to an end, uh, you know, especially, um, you know, it goes by pretty fast. So I think just, you know, embracing every single day and uh, just keep working. Thank you, Florida. Thank you.